Welcome to the series 2 of visualization of data in Python. So in this video we will see how we can do float the KDE float by using Seaborn and Matplotlib. So first I will input all the libraries like pandas, numpy, Seaborn and Matplotlib by plot. Then for visualization I need one data frame. So this will create one data frame that is stored in df. So if I now check for the df data frame let's give my data frame like this so it have the information like category age income and score and saving so let's see how we can draw the kde float for this data so what is kde float means kde float basically used to understand how data is distributed so if i use the kde float to float this age so it will give one line like this so by you looking that line we can understand how the data is distributed so i will explain by the chart itself so in order to float the kd float for any column i have to use sns because the kd float from the seaborn library then i have to use kde float then after that within the parenthesis i have to give the data is equal to in this case the df as my data then the x the x axis i will give the name of the column that is age so I will give the age here so if I float this I will get the line like this so by looking at this line I can get the understanding of how my data is distributed how the age is distributed so I can get it over here if the 10 years of age is very minimum then after 20 years this much and after 30 years we have many people of 30 years of age then the 40 years slightly decreased then the 55 years slightly increased after the 60 decreased 70 decreased and 80s decreased so this is basically like a histogram but instead of the bar it will give the line how the data is distributed so by using kd float we can float the numerical data so in this case the age the numerical data and we can get understand about uh, the skewness of the data like the left skewed or the right skewed and we can also understand how data is distributed so this is how we can do the kd float if i want to add the title for this i can use pd.plt.title so if i want to give the distribution of sorry kd of kd float of kd float of age so if i give the title like this it will sorry kd float of age title sorry title the kd float of title so i can add the title like this so this is how i can do the visualization of the age column by using kd float so if i want to do the kd float for each variable so it's very lengthy process for writing the code for each variable and float a chart so what if i can use the for loop for get the chart for each numerical column so let's see how we can get the kd chart for all the columns in data frame for that i have to use the for loop so i will write code like for i in so for i in i have to give the name of the column so i will first get the name of the column in my df so df dot columns so if i get the columns name so this is my column name i want to kd float only for the numerical column so i will select only the numerical column from here to here then i will select ctrl c and i will paste it over here then i will give the bracket so for i in each column name i want to draw the kd float so i will plot kd float like s and s dot kde sorry kd float the data is the same df then the x variable take each i so it will first take the age and it will plot the kd float then it will take income then it will take score like that it will iterate through each column then it will float so here i have more than one more than one chart i have to use plt dot show so if i don't use plt dot show it will won't show all the charts so i have to use plt dot show to show all the kd charts so if i now run this i will get the kd float for all the numerical variables so first i will get for the age so 
then after that i will get the column for the income like chart for the income then after that i will get it for the score like this i will get the kd plot for the score after that i will get the steady plot for the saving so this is how i can get in a single code i can get the chart for each column that is numerical column so i can get the chart like this we can use the for loop for many chart otherwise we have to write all the code one by one for age income score and saving so this is using simple code i can get the chart for each column so this is about this video in this video we learned about how we can do kd plot for the variable then how we'll do the kd plot for the each variable in a single code so thank you for watching stay